this pretty little yellow flower this is sulfur buckwheat sulfur buckwheat Areogonum umbilatum very pretty plant full bloom here there is I don't know if you could see this little green bees on there that little green bee there <clears throat> that's a sweat bee of some sort flowers are pretty <clears throat> decent size let me pull one for you little yellow buckwheat flowers fuzzy stems <clears throat> And let me get a leaf for you. So it's a different leaf than the California buckwheat, which is a much smaller leaf, kind of green leaf. And the California buckwheat, the Areogonum fasciculatum, the flowers are white or pinkish, and they're definitely not yellow. So the plant is a native to the Great Basin Desert. See those little nice cushion? It grows a little bit in the, Moha in the northern Mojave, but it's mostly a Great Basin plant. You also find it in the Sierra Nevada mountains. It's a small shrub. I don't know if you could see this one, but you could see it's a nice round, compact shrub. Very low to the ground. They're about two feet, two, two and a half feet wide and maybe a foot high. There's one there in full sun. So they call it sulfur buckwheat because it's sulfur yellow, the flowers. And it's a great hardy plant. <clears throat> Very cold hardy, um, so you can grow this in the mountains. It also takes the heat really well. We have these three plants here that I brought from my mom's yard about 10 years ago to the college. And we propagate these by seeds or cuttings. Now sulfur buckwheat is a perennial, so like I said, doesn't die back to the ground, it's evergreen. It blooms in the spring, so about from March till middle June, and then these yellow flowers will turn <clears throat> a pretty reddish tan, the seed heads. So this is a really good plant for landscapes. This is a nice little flower garden. Great landscape plant because it's low and clean. Low meaning, you know, it's not very tall and it's clean. It's not a dirty plant. Um, the seeds are edible, but it's not as choice as the Areogonum fasciculatum, which is a different buckwheat that has more edible seeds. But this one you could eat the seeds. I think though this one's prettier, has a prettier color, smaller growth habit, and the bees love it. <clears throat> you don't know, you might not be able to see them, but there's a lot of little hoverflies and bees and wasps and all sorts of things checking out these flowers. <clears throat> and that would make it a really good companion plant to fruit trees or maybe just in a, a butterfly hummingbird pollinator garden um, and like I said it can grow in partial shade to full sun lots of different type of soil types high heat low heat um, very adaptable one thing if you do want it to bloom again what we would do is let the yellow flowers and go and then once the yellow flowers fade we would trim those off we call that deadheading and the plant will make a second a bloom. So again, that is the sulfur buckwheat, Areogonum umbilatum.